I've got a whisper. There's people asleep. Today is a hiking day. So we're going to start in Cornelia, which is an interesting part of the Cinque Terre because it's, it's not at sea level. So if you're unfortunate enough not to have a tracking card, and I do, the moment you get off the train, you've got to climb up about 360 steps to get up into Cornelia. But if you get a tracking card because you go on hiking, there's a free bus. I got the free bus. So I'm going to see if I can drag myself around these walks today and hike a section of the Cinque Terre. So initially we're going to have a little bimble round Cornelia, the starting point. And then we're going to head over to Venazia, or Venazia. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I never do. Um, but apparently it's the most photographed part of the Cinque Terre, so that should be lovely. That's about two and a half miles, but first of all we've got to climb up into the hills to do that. So we're going to have a look at Venazia as well. And then back up into the hills, because <laughs> that's the thing with these walks. You hike up, you hike down into the village, then you hike back up. So, Venazza, and then we're going to hike back to Monte Rosso. That's Monte Rosso. That's where we're heading back to. But first of all, we're up into that. So let's go see if I can drag myself around it. See you in a bit. red and white stones indicate the route that you're on so if you're not sure and you're walking around we're on the SVA today and that's indicated with the red and white so if you get a bit stuck and you see the stone you're on the right path for a view. A little over a mile in. Is it difficult? No. Is it easy? No. It's early, it's probably seven o'clock, a little after. I'm already leaking happiness. Um, it's warm. Getting eaten alive. It's warm not unpleasant. I'd imagine doing this this afternoon would be really difficult. You are aware that you're climbing, but not in a way that makes you feel like you're climbing a mountain. So thus far, it's not easy, it's doable. Yeah, I know all you young people go, it's dead easy. I'm speaking to people my age. It's doable. You can feel that you're doing something, but it's lovely up here. And I'm really glad I got the chance to do it because the weather's been so hit and miss this week. 
that we've actually got a decent day to get walking. And this is absolutely stunning. So if you come into Cinque Terre, walk the routes. See you in a bit. Right then, that last bit was a bit more steep, steppy, whatever you want to call it. But you can now see the altitude that you climb. There's Cornelia that we actually started in, and now we're way above it. And despite my huffing and puffing, it's still really enjoyable and absolutely pretty. I'll tell you what I didn't expect to see up in the mountains. I was walked past a, a couple in this last section. Just over my shoulder here, there's a farm shop. It sells beers and stuff. It's got a sun terrace. So you, you can stop and have a chill if you want. There's another bar further up with panoramic views over the, the sea and Cornelia. There's a, another fruit shop and the smell of the citrus fruit as you walk through. You, you feel like you're walking into someone's backyard, but it's the route goes through there. So, bring money. I doubt they use contact list up here. But uh, yeah, while you're out walking, stop for a beer. There you have it, Vanazza. Probably the prettiest of them all that we've been to. And the busiest, I think. The harbour is absolutely lovely with loads of little restaurants and cafe bars around it. You could probably sit there for hours. And I wanted to, but <laughs> I'm running out of energy to get back to Monte Rosso. So back to it, back up into the hills. What I've also noticed about this route Compared to the Cornelia to Venazza, this route is manic. back this particular trail has been an absolute nightmare the start has a really tight incline but it's really busy and you stop and start an awful lot because you've got to let people pass. but we're about four and a half miles in coming down now into Mosserosso now is time for a beer Uh, 
and we're back. On to Rosso. That leg was a nightmare, but absolutely stunning. I think you'll agree. What's that? There's a beer on the table for me, so see you later. Cornelia Vanazza That's the walk we did Over there is Maranola and out there is Rio Maggiore If you want to come to the Cinque Terre and walk put the effort in absolutely worth it what a stunning place <laughs> 